Okay, great. Let's start. So, let's go. I'm starting with three minutes of warm up. So, let's start with our ankles. So, twisting your ankle. So, today's class five clusters, other direction, the ankle. Each cluster has four exercises, okay? And other leg. And what we do is 45 seconds on of a strong cardio movement, like a squat, and things like that. And then we have a 30 second active rest. And the active rest is the core, usually. And then we're 45 seconds on, 30 seconds active rest, knees together. And so that goes 45, 30, 45, 30. And then we repeat it. So we do the same four exercises again. So it ends up being five minutes on. So two and a half minutes, first round, two and a half minutes, second round. Okay, so now hips, and then 30 second interval rest. We do that five times. So that's gonna bring us to 25 minutes of those clusters. Like so, with a bit of warm up, a bit of cool down, a bit of stretching, and we've got 10 minutes of pure core on the side. So really great to start warming up. So get as much movement as you can in here as we start. So for those who are stretching the core side, you can see the difference. So let's swing the arms a little bit. That's it. I'm hoping the sound is good. I'm going to talk nice and loud anyway. But you guys know anyway. Not a lot of talking in this. It's just tell you what to do and then we just pad our way through it. Okay, so circles. Just warm up the arms. We have quite a few um, push-up variations and move that plank to other direction. Forearm and hand planks. Okay, bring the arms across. Hey, good morning, somebody else from and bring your arm across, bring your arm up and lean. Oh, that's nice. Bring the other arm up and lean. Okay, let's go to my stretch here. Lunge back and then see right leg is forward, left hand is down, right leg is up. We now step back on the plank and switch other leg. And open up. We last go again and put back and switch open up. Excellent. Step back and switch. Open up. Wait for the down to lunge. Reach the arms up. Hook the thumbs and sink in. And then straighten the front leg. So we're going to go into the first squat. First cluster in the middle of the other side. So low lunge. Stretch it out. Great. You should be feeling so much better already. Just just a little bit of movement, just as you pass with you in the morning. Really nice. Okay, step to the top of the mat, folding forward, and then slowly roll up. Really nice. Okay, circles. So, first one, we're going to start with 45 seconds of stationary gorillas, right? So, hands down, stationary gorillas, up your feet forward and back. Oh, shoot, there's no sound on this. I'm so sorry. Oh, shoot. There it is. Great. Do it, son. Ah, thank God. Okay, forward and back. Station your legs. Good with these ones not to go too fast, but right? 45 seconds on. Bring your feet as close to your hands as you can. That's it, 15 seconds left, 30 done. Good job. We're going into an active rest after this one. Oh. Five. Oh, great. Okay, great, great leg lifted. So, Onto your back, one leg up, and lift up and down. So this is our active rest. So this is our time 
to catch your breath back. So you're working the deep breaths. Okay, plank jacks. So come onto your hands, jump out and in, come onto your forearms, in, out and in. Hands out and in, forearms out and in. Remember you can step. So we step in. That's it. Job. And then the other leg. It's the top. So the other leg, that was not up last time. Great lifts. So that's our four exercises. I'm going to repeat them. So stationary gorilla. Bridge lift. Plank jacks. And then bridge left. Good job. So halfway through, plus one on your Great. Stationary credits. Here we go again. And off we go. Try to jump to feet as close to the top as you can, as close to your hand. You're trying to get the heart rate up here, so it's uncomfortable. Okay, well, go for it. Let's work hard. This is our time to work. Later on in the day, go be the time to get the heart rate up. So do it now, eight seconds. Keep going. Come on. Three, two, one, great. Onto your back and the bridge mix. And Catch your breath. That's it. Deep breaths. That's it. We're just on cluster one. Second round. Okay. Plank jacks. So come onto your four hands. Feet out and in. Come onto your forearms and in. Keep going. I don't know you can step. You don't need to hop. Good job. You're going well. 25 seconds done. 20 to go. Get the heart rate up. That's it. Just 10 seconds. Excellent. Nearly there. Other side. Single leg lifts. Um, to add a bridge lift with one leg up. And remember, then we have an interval rest with 30 seconds of a break. Catch your breath here. And lift. And lift. So it's an active rest. And it's optional, of course, you can take a full rest at any stage. So if the active rest feels like still too much, no problem. You just stop and take a break. We're in our full rest here for 20 seconds. Okay, let me tell you what we're doing in the next one. We're doing ballistic pulses, lunges, sit throughs, and stepwatch crunch. So five seconds, I'll just show you ballistic pulses. Your feet are just hovering. Really engage the core, and then you're bending your elbows. Five times we're going to go into hopping the whole body up, and that's optional. Okay, we just do it five times each time. So optional. Increase the intensity by hopping. One, two, three, up, and then back to pulsing. So the elbows are bending, the knees going a little bit away from the floor and then closer. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, 
five. Oh, let's go again. Five, four, two, two, one. We've done three. Let's go again. Five, four, two, one, and four. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Phew. Okay, lunges. And so lunge back and lunge back. That's it. So these are active breaths, so we're not jumping. It's going to catch our breath. That's it. And then we'll sit through this and push up. Okay. So, left knee to right elbow, right knee, knee to left elbow, and then a push up. You can go faster. Let's see two. Lift the hand. Let's see two. Uh, turning the body. And you can just bring the knee to the elbow either. We have the knees down for the push up. So every version works, right? Maybe there. And the starfish crunch. Great, onto our back. This is exercise four. Legs wide, arms wide. Coming out and in. So we're back then to ballistic puzzles. And so remember, leave out the extra intensity stuff and it feels like too much. Bending the elbows, engage the core. If you're upward, we'll hop. Hop, two, two, one. And then back to pulses. And then we'll go again. Hop, four, two, two, one. There's two. Let's go number three. Four, three, two, one. That's four. No, that's three. Again. Five, four, two, one. That's four times. So one last time. Here we go. Five, four, two, one. And here, lunges. And lunge. Doing great. <coughs> Oh, so catch your breath. <coughs> you definitely feel heart rate up, begin to perspire. That's it. Keep moving as you're breathing. That's it. Okay, sit throughs with the push up. I'm not the top much. I'm going to go for the strong one. You lift your arm. And you really twist. Twist. Remember, knees down, push up, no problem. Oh, good form, very important. So don't compromise on form ever. That's when we get injured. And definitely don't want injury, right? Maybe there. Oh. And last one. Oh, great. Starfish crunches. Let's go. So five clusters, two now we're done. Once we do these exercises. So two weeks ago. And rest 30 seconds. Oh, hand on your heart. Maybe get a drink. <coughs> oh, great. Okay, next cluster. So, squat gears. Let me show you. 
So we're doing it together. So we're coming to the squat and then step back in the plank or hop back. And then like a scheme. So both feet go to the right hand, go back. Both feet come to the left hand and go back. Hop forward, squat. Let's go again. Jump back and then to the right hand, to the left hand and to the center. And squat. Jump back, right hand, left hand and center. Squat, 15 seconds out. We move the hop and step. Perfect. Great. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, we do a push up and then push into down dog. Left hand to right foot. Come forward to plank. Do a push up and then push back to down dog. Right hand to left foot. It's an active rest, so not speedy, just moving while we're recovering. That's the next one. The squat jacks here. Yeah. So knees stay bent. Oops, sorry. Oops. That doesn't matter. So knees stay bent, going down, come back in, back in chair pose. And then down, feet together, hands on the floor rather, and then together. So the knees stay bent the whole time, right? As low as you can. Begin to some real leg burners now. This round and the next round. And as low as you can. Oh, okay. So ice skaters. Nice contracting. And ice skater. Some nice stretching to the hip. I'll catch your breath. So it's one round done. We go back to the squat skiers. And then push up, down dog. Okay. Squat skiers. Time my legs. So squatting down, hop back to plank, foot feet to the right, foot feet to the left. Back to squat, and then hop back, right, left, and squat. Good job. These are hard. Legs really working. And squat. Oh, Ooh, ten seconds. Oh, last one. Oh. So this one, yeah, push up and then down dog. Push up and then one hand reaches the opposite foot. Push up and then the other side. Really important, make your form. You push up my straight line, strong. And then, the squat jumps. Good. So feet down, hands down rather, and then hands up. That's it. And when the hands come up, the knees are still bent. So the legs don't really straighten. And when you're going down, make sure to go down low on the hips. And not just reach with the arms. A deep bend in the thighs. Ten seconds, we got this. Oh, ice skaters, when we're into a break. Oh, let's go. Ice skater. Oh. Great job. Hop if you like. That's it. And that means, as far as I can 
Three thrusters done. That's very quick. Two to go. Okay, so this is our last time. I'm going to tell you what we have coming up. We have half to this. And then sit ups. Squat, get good. And then it's like heavy on the legs. So in half to this, I'm not going to demo because we were in there for 45 seconds. So big wide command to a squat. And we close. So hands wherever you like. It's kind of nice to interlace. Push into your heels. See, can you get low? So your legs are at 90, and you're going down and up from there. And breathe. So the active rest in this one is sit ups. 20 more seconds. So these really burn. If you need to strain your legs, do no problem. But like a lot of these things, pain stops the minute we stop them, okay? So it's not permanent. Seven seconds, you got it. Oh, oh three, two, one. Oh, great. Let's come onto our back. And then we still have some one leg extended. So one leg is long. And then we sit up. And you can reach your arms like so if you like. Or you can put your hands behind your head. Whichever works. And get your breath back rhythmic. Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, squat twists. Up we come. So we squat down, twist, twist. Stand up, twist, twist, and keep going. Twist, twist, and twist, twist. That's it. And twist, twist, and twist, twist, and twist, twist, up, twist, twist, and down, twist, twist, and up, twist, twist. Nearly there. We're going to do the sit ups on the other side. And let's go. So sit ups, other leg extended this time. And again, arms behind your head or reach your overhead and up as suits you, right? And exhale. Inhale down, exhale. Super. Okay, let's go back in. So, hostage squat. Let's go. Mm. And so keep lifting the chest, push into the heels, bones down. That's it. And pulsing. Great job. 20 seconds left, which means you're 25 done, right? Absolutely no problem. If you need to, you straighten the legs and come back in. No problem at all. Nearly there, seven seconds. You're going to feel great from all this. Oh, that's it. This is our second last lap. Now, we only have one after this. So let's do our circle one leg. Second last cluster. So we're on cluster four. We only have five. We can do it. Okay, squat twists. So standing up, twist and twist. Come down, twist and twist. Up, twist and twist. Down, twist and twist. Keep going. And you can see the obliques right from here, right? That's it. 20 seconds left. Sit. This one heavy on the legs. The hostages. 
definitely very strengthening. And come up, let's go onto our back. Second round, other side of circle, one leg extended. That's it. You got it. Keep going. We're nearly there. Keep into our rest and rest. Oh. So you notice, right? Some of them we definitely are out of breath more, and some of them just really burn. And so you really have a different kind of recovery. Okay. So the last one. We have interval mountain climbers, three point resets, push ups, and hollow out. Okay. So interval mountain climbers. Okay, so we're starting to climb and we do a push up. Okay, so the knees can be down and there's your push up. One leg in, mountain climber, another push up. Other leg in, mountain climber, another push up. And then walk your hands back to your feet. And then stay here and walk back out into plank. Off we go again. So push up, one mountain climber, push up, second mountain climber, push up. Walk your hands back to your feet. Legs straight if you can. And then walk your hands back out. And off we go again. Push up. One mountain climber. Push up. Second mountain climber. Third push up. Walk the hands back. Great. Okay, three point pieces. You know these ones. Knees in and out. That's it. Um, exhale as you bring the knees in. Inhale out, exhale in. And you can slow it down to go at the pace of your breath. So it's an active breath. Okay, it's all arms this time, right? So push up with shoulder pads. So push up and then. Right hand to touch left shoulder, left hand touch right. Feet nice and wide, nice stable support for your push up. Push up, tap, and tap. And push up, tap, and tap. To try to stay very stable, engage your core, lift your thighs, knees down, it's perfect. And tap. Maintain good form, right? Don't let the back, the back side at all. You have to bring the chest all the way down, just as far as it's comfortable for you. And then hold out. So, lying, lift up, and then legs up. So chest up, legs up, using all of the core to control the movement. I like to hook my thumbs or interlace my hands so that they're working together. I feel this in your core after a few rounds of walking. Oh, this is very strong after the rest. Okay, great. Last round, and the last one. Into the mountain climbers again. So push up, mountain climber. Push up, mountain climber. Push up. Walk the hands back to the feet. Walk back out. And again. Push up, mountain climber. Push up, mountain climber. Another push up. And then walk the hands back to the feet. Good job. And again, last round. And push up, mountain climber. Push up, Ooh, mountain climber. And push up. Ooh. And turn around, three point, three point three six. There you go. Hands behind, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So this cluster five, we're going to cool down and then we're going to some core work. So doing great. Oh, that's it. So you just have to push up with the shoulder taps, the hollow out. Oh. So I turn around again. And remember, knees down, also, excellent option. You can maybe go lower and shoulder taps. Okay? 
our knees lifted. Inhale down, exhale up. Just 14 seconds left. So maybe three more rounds. Two more push ups, rather. Three and two. And last one. And hollow outs. Here we go. Oh, sorry. That's it. Oh. Good job. These are hard. Oh. Nearly there. Oh, and rest. Okay. Catch your breath here for a moment. Have a drink. Let's get into a little bit of stretching. So let's come down into low cobra. Feet back and lift up into high. And then here, a little bit of swaying side to side. Really nice. Super. Okay, all fours, and then step one leg forward. So nice low lunge, reach the arms up and stretch. And then straighten the front leg and breathe. Catch your breath. Let's go in and out with the breath. So hands down, you the women's lunge. So inhale, chest forward. And then as you exhale, knee down and straighten and fold. Let's do two more just like that. So inhale, and then exhale. And one more, inhale, and exhale. Let's go to the other side. So in the core sequence, 40 seconds on, it's going to a low lunge now, reach up, and then 10 seconds into the rest. And it's more of a transition than the rest, 10 seconds in the count of march, right? And now let's go in and out with our breath. Inhale, and exhale. If you want to take off your runners from the core bit, you can. Excuse me. Inhale, chest forward, push into the back here, get a lovely length in the spine. And then exhale, knee down, and straighten the front leg. Let's do one more. And exhale. Okay, we're going to stay down low because we'll be on our backs for the core steps. So let's stretch the arms from one arm across. Great. And then reach up and stretch. Great, let's go to the other side. And then let's come onto our back. We're going to single to double tuck. So lying on your back, not very dissimilar to what you did. So one leg comes in, come back. Other leg comes in, come back, and now both legs. In and back. So one leg. You can leave the legs hovering the whole time if you want to increase the intensity. Both legs. Or you can put the foot on the floor. See what works. And both legs. And one leg. And second leg. And both legs. And one leg. And second leg. And both legs. Okay. Crisscross with straight legs. So leg up, hands behind your head and rotate. Inhale, both legs up. Exhale, one leg down, rotate. Exhale as you rotate. And really think of shoulder to hip. So turning in torso, using your obliques. More so than neck and elbows, right? So we really focus side body, sideways working. Okay. 
Next one we're doing after this, a side plank dips. So you can be on a forearm plank or hand plank and going up and down. So I'm going to do the first one, hand plank. Remember, top leg can be halfway forward, okay? Or feet are stacked and down and up. And inhale down, exhale up. Let's just let me see if they lump in my hair. <laughs> exhale up. That's it. And I'm going to go to the side. Ten seconds. When you've your shoes on, you can stop doing this. If you've no shoes on, you head off on the top foot in front. Great. Let's go to the side. So our shoes on, so I can stop my feet. But if you have no shoes, it can be a little bit unstable moving. Holding a plank with your feet stacked is fine with no shoes, but it can be hard. And to move with your feet stack, and I find anyway. And remember, you can be on your forearm or your arm and your hand. See what works for you. Bottom weight lifts and dips. What do we do next? Let's see, this clams. Have a good time. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. So side plank, side rather, uh, forearm down. We do need the last night. Come up onto your shin, lift the knee out. And exhale. We try to point that knee towards the ceiling when you come up. But keep this waist and hips pretty stable. So the hips go up and down, but the leg opens out. That's it. Shoulders relaxed, open across the chest. You got it. Nearly there, five seconds. Oh, great. Let's go to the side. Great. And off we go. That's it. Open up and lift the knee. Bottom shin stays down. So your bottom thigh and your bottom hip lift. Doing absolutely brilliant. Doing great. And six minutes left. Okay, rest. Heel touches. So, you know, these ones, right? They really work. And always mindful of the neck. If you need to put a hand around your neck. Please do. Otherwise, reach and reach. So, you can feel, right? We have a lot of side weight stuff, obliques going on. So great to strengthen these. They're a key part of our stabilizing and also all the rotation and movement. And so it's good to have them strong. Also, it's good for honing the waist. As we get older, we tend to lose our waist a little bit. And so it's always great to work these muscles. Okay. Okay, so next one. We pretend we're block between our legs, bring the legs up, go around the block, and then extend the arms, the block where the arms are, and the hands bring it back up, put the block between the feet, and back down. Yes, I think this is the last one. Let me get into some stretching now. So 
So stay with it. This is the last one. Great. Good job. Join the knees into the chest. So now, pull down, stretch it out. So when we get off the mat, we're not still out of breath, we're not still perspiring, and we'll be feeling at ease in our bodies. So let's take a nice spinal twist here. So let the knees fall to one side and breathe. So deep breaths. So the other side. Let's do another version. So draw your left knee into the chest, squeeze it in, and then left knee across your body. So left arm out to the side, put both of your shoulder blades on the floor, chest towards the ceiling. And so you can really feel that lower back and into the side of the body. Really nice. Two deep breaths here. So great for our oxygenating our blood to take deep breaths. So if you're both knees into the chest now, let's go to the other side. So other leg extends. Take your hand, your right leg now across your body. And then lift your shoulders, place your shoulder blades on the floor. And deep breaths. Really nice, coming back to center. Let's rock up to sitting, bring both of your feet together, and let's butterfly the legs. So it feels like a long time ago now, but we're doing all those squats, hostages, ballistic pulses, a lot of work into the legs. So it's nice now. So now legs are stationary, bring the heels as close as you can, and then elbows pushing on the inside of the thighs, pushing on the inside of the shins and lean forward. So right into the groin, lovely stretch. As you exhale, lean a bit more. Really nice. Okay, crisscross the legs now. And you get another twist. Fill up as you inhale, as you exhale, rotate. Oh yes, I meant to ask you guys while you're here, right? I am planning and thinking of moving my Thursday morning yoga to early yoga class. So instead of being at 9.30, I'm thinking of moving it to this time. So on Thursday, we have, let's come stand, 6.30 to 7.15 yoga class. Legs wide, full forward. And so those of you who have already asked the grant, but if you think this would be something you might be interested in, a uh, 45 minute yoga class to do morning activating class on Thursday morning. Would you mind texting me after the class and just tell me if that is something you'd be interested in? I'm just checking on if there is interest because when um, Thursday morning people, some of them would prefer to see 9.30 and some would be happier to go to 6.30. So I just check, uh, check in with you guys as well. Okay, so wide legs folding forward. So if you get a chance sometime today, just text me to say, no, you're all right. I'm <laughs> grabbing once a week. Or, oh, yeah, no, I'd be interested in a 6 30 yoga on Thursday. Really nice. Okay, let's hear it and feet together. Let's just stretch it out. So, this one really nice. Bring the foot up towards the bum. Really nice. And then the other one. And let's just do a few of those hands being stretched. So, the right leg kicks up and the left leg. So kicking and stretching out through the glute and hamstring. Okay, let's come to a low squat. Bring one knee down and then the other. And then there. Really nice, coming all the way up. Let's do the three movements on the spine. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. As you guys do that, let me just catch this here. Again, 
and the Trace Nunnery, great to see you, Jean. I'm delighted you got in, Elaine. Super. Okay, let's go side to side, inhale and slide. And slide. And slide. And slide. And now rotation. And rotate. And rotate. Rotate. And rotate. And just three of them. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, exhale three left. Two more. And one more. Wait. Have a great day. Thank you so much for coming. It's great to see you all. Yep, and off you.